welcome to Beyond the Trailer's coverage of the 2013 Academy Awards, giving you an in-depth look at the top categories. And be sure to cast your own vote for who you think should win in our poll at tinyurl.com slash bttoscarvote2013. There's even a write-in section. Now let's take a look at the nominees for Best Animated Feature. Brave. Now Best Animated Feature is an interesting category because it's the only category where mainstream films still have a shot at winning. That's because so much money is at stake in the genre and it takes so long to make an animated film that the major animation houses simply aren't willing to focus all their efforts on a purely artistic endeavor as their live action counterparts are. However, in the past, Pixar has admirably done both, especially with picks like Wally and Up. But not this year. Only rocking a 78% in Rotten Tomatoes, still fresh for the website but far below Pixar's usual standards, Brave wasn't able to make it onto your top 10 movies of the year list either. And it can't even claim to be the highest grossing animated film of the year as its runner-up to Ice Age 4. Brave might have taken home the Golden Globe for Best Animated Feature, but considering the number of stop-motion animated films in the running this year, it looks like Disney is going to have to settle for just winning Best Picture. Frank and Weenie. Yes, this is quite a year for stop-motion animation. While the medium is still fighting an uphill battle at the box office, it's been helped out immensely by 3D, which lends itself particularly well to landscapes that are truly three-dimensional. And remember what I was just saying about a lack of pure artistry in this category? Well, stop motion might be the cure to that, and Academy voters seem to recognize that by nominating three such films the most ever. It's also worth noting, though, that it's impressive there even are three stop motion films to nominate. And Tim Burton has certainly been a pioneer in stop motion, giving the medium its first cult hit with The Nightmare Before Christmas. But for the first time, he'll be competing with Leica, the stop motion animation studio that was built on the efforts of his nightmare director Henry Selleck after he and Burton parted ways. Burton did already lose to Ardman back in 2005, so a win here would go a long way in putting him back on top in the stop motion field. Paranorman. to do. Without a doubt, it was the 2009 critical and box office success of Lake's Coraline which ushered in this renaissance of stop motion animation. But that was a very competitive year for animation as Wes Anderson released his own stop motion film and Pixar impressed with Up, which ultimately went on to win the Best Animated Feature Oscar. So while Paranorman surpasses Coraline in terms of artistry, its story, not so much. Do voters reward Leica overall with a win here, even if their film isn't overall the best in the category? Then again, none of the stop motion films in this category are perfect, so if one's going to win, why not the one where the animation is the most impressive? The Pirates, Band of Misfits. With all due respect to Ardman, one could argue they don't deserve this spot and might have only gotten it because of the animation studio's reputation. As I just noted, they are the only stop motion animation studio to win the Best Animated Feature Oscar back in 2005 with Wallace and Gromit, The Curse of the Were-Rabbit. But their latest work, Pirates, doesn't have the important message of the Lorax or the surprising heart of Hotel Transylvania. I guess the best thing Pirates has going for it is that it sunk at the box office, whereas the Lorax and Hotel Transylvania were huge hits. And there's nothing the Academy likes to do more than punish a film for its monetary success. And while, of course, the craft on Pirates is stunning, we all know Ardman is chock full of master animators. Why should they be rewarded for going soft on story when we all also know they've got a lot of great writers over there as well? Wreck It Ralph. I think pretty much everyone will agree that if we're just going on quality, removing all politics, Wreck It Ralph is hands down the best movie here. It's also an important movie to Disney Animation as it's helped cement the studio's return to form after struggling for so long to make the transition to computer animation. And interestingly, their first real success, Tangled, didn't even get a nomination. So indeed, everything is beginning to fall back into place for the house that Walt and Mickey built. And there's an internal competition going on here as well, with Pixar's Brave in the same category. Both are huge box office successes, with Pixar still by far the winner in that department, which might disqualify them both from winning here. But even more so, Disney Animation is likely to win Best Animated Short for Paper Man, sorry Simpsons fans, where they've pioneered a technique that blends hand-drawn and computer animation. So Disney Animation should just be happy with the nomination here, as Academy voters will likely want to give a win to a stop-motion film in this category, while rewarding Disney in the shorts category. But I have to say, I like Frozen's chances for next year quite a bit. And those are the 2013 Best Animated Feature nominees. Who do you think deserves the Oscar? Leave your comments down below, and don't forget to vote and be on the Triller's Oscar poll. It closes on February 12th. I'm Grace Randolph, and hope you'll check out the rest of BTT's Oscar coverage.